Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna unbox the new Keurig single serve carafe coffee maker, which means it'll brew a whole pot of coffee or just the K cups. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with the new K Duo from Keurig. start this. Here we go. Okay, right inside here, here's the instruction manual. We'll get that out. slide that right out there. Okay, there it is. Looks like you have all your buttons and dials here. On the back, this is your water reservoir. This is a side view, front, the side. And this is where you'll brew your whole pot of coffee and this is for the K cups. All right, here's the bottom. There's that. And here is your coffee pot. Get it right underneath there. All right, so let me read the instructions on this and we'll get it going and we'll test uh, the K-cup side and the brew side, and we'll be right back. All right, there it is. It's all plugged in, ready to go. The instructions did say to rinse the carafe if you want and then rinse the water reservoir. To um, You don't have to run clear water through it. We did, but uh, you don't have to. Just rinse out the items. So in the back here... As you can see, this is the water reservoir. Now, some people don't like that it's in the back. I don't mind, I'm used to it from the other previous model. So I'm used to uh, lifting this up and filling it in the sink. This will hold 72 ounces. Um, it goes, of course, to 12 for the coffee size, but then you, the max fill line is up above that. So it does go 72 ounces. And I can show you how to lift that up here in just a second. So it will do a 12 cup coffee and it will do your single serve and your iced coffee right here. The extra hot and the strong is also for the single serve. Um, this is for the K-cups and over here, of course, is for the brew. Um, you can also do auto brew, set the time for that, and it'll tell you to add water when you need to or just scale it so um, I can show you those functions as well so also on this side here you can pull this out if you have a bigger cup to put that under there and use it for larger sizes and then it just goes right back for your regular coffee cup so all right let me go through some of the functions So the lid on the water reservoir comes right off easily and back on. And to remove it, you just lift straight up and there you go, it's off. And just put it back on and you're all set. 
So let's get some measurements of the coffee maker. Um, the height we have is about 11 and a half inches. Um, the length, the length is about 12 and a half from the longest point here. And the width, we're looking at about 11 inches. Okay, so I will make a K cup uh, to show you how that works, all right? You can press this button if you want at first or just put the K cup inside the keg. So you're gonna push, push it down here and then pull the handle down and you can see it's lit up of what you need to press. So I am gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do a 12, 12 ounce cup and I could do extra hot and strong for just the single serve sizing. So we're gonna do that. We'll do extra hot and we'll do this strong. And we have it at the 12 ounces for the K cup. And then this is the brew button. So just go ahead and press that. Okay, it looks like it's done. So I wanted to show you the, the K-Cup. It has the multi-stream technology, which means it's gonna put five holes there in the top and then one on the bottom. Okay, for the carafe or the brew side here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your filter in there, eight to 12 cup size, put your coffee inside of there. This also lifts out for cleaning and that. All right, so you put that in there and you're gonna press the brew button for crafts. And you've got it set to, you could do eight cups, 10 cups, or 12 cups. So it's up to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do six and then I'm just gonna press the brew button. Now it does have to pause and pour in case you do want to go ahead and pour a cup of coffee before it's done. All right, it's done. 
So let's bring it out here. Take a look. There it is, there's the coffee. And let's see how it pours. When it's finished, this light will come on to show that the warming plate is on. So the last feature I want to show you is the brew over ice here, and we're going to try that out right now. So I've got a larger cup, so I'm going to go ahead and take this off and put the cup underneath there. And you can see that fits right in there nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my K-cup inside there. Press it down and put the handle down. And then see, it tells me that there's a K-cup inside of there. So what I'm gonna do is hit brew over ice button and hit the brew button. So what it says that it does is it brews hot at first, and then near the end, it will brew at a lower temperature to reduce the ice melt. and it looks like it's all set. Add your cream or add your sugar and you, you've got your iced coffee. Overall, this unit is pretty quiet. I like the sleeker design of it. And because we do K-cups the, through the weekday and we do a pot of coffee on the weekends, this is perfect. And so I think we're really gonna like this one. And right now, as you can see, because I've made a whole pot of coffee and I did a couple K-cups, it's telling me now to add water, the light's on. So, all right, so that's it on the Keurig K-Duo. If you're interested in it, I would definitely give it a try and uh, see if you like it. All right, thanks all for watching. Bye-bye.